So the third way of solving a system of equations is using the elimination method. Your textbook last, whatever, two years ago, whatever, um, it used uh, the term linear combination. Elimination is actually a more common term. I kind of like it a little bit better. I don't know, it just sounds a little more violent. Elimination. All right, so <clears throat> elimination, when you've got a system, let's say like this, and 4x plus 3y equals 33. Looking at the system, notice that the x terms are identical. And so if we took a negative 1 and multiplied through just this equation, we'd get a negative 4x plus 3y equals, pardon me, minus 3y, equals negative 33, and then your 4x plus 9y equals 75 would remain. And then if we add these two equations together, look what happens to the x's. They are eliminated. And then 9y minus 3y is 6y equals 75 minus 33 is 42 divide by 6, so y equals 7, and then we can take that y value and pick your favorite equation that you started with. Uh, it makes no difference. Um, I'll take the bottom one. So 4x plus 3 times 7 now equals 33, and solving for x, 4x equals 12. So x equals 3. So the ordered, pardon me, the ordered pair where these two lines intersect is at the coordinate 3, 7. So that's how elimination works. There are some more challenging elimination problems. So let's say we have uh, 2x minus 3y equals negative 8 and 11x plus 5y equals negative one, and you notice that nothing matches. None of the x or y terms will eliminate out easily. So this is where we're going to need to do some multiplication of both equations. So we could, let's take a look at the, I think the y would be a little bit easier to work with. I don't really enjoy working with 11. So if I multiply the top equation by five and the bottom equation by three, the y terms will subtract away. So we'll multiply this by five, and we'll multiply this through by three. So this becomes a 10x minus 15y equals negative 40, and a 33x plus 15y equals negative three. And then we can add the two equations together. So this will give us 43x, the y's are eliminated, equals negative 43, so x equals negative 1. And then pick your favorite equation. I think I'm going to work with the top because I'm not a big 11 fan. 2 times negative 1 minus 3y equals negative 8. Negative 2 minus 3y equals negative 8. Add 2, so that's a negative 6y equals 2. So the ordered pair that where these two lines would cross is the coordinate negative one, two. All right, so that's how that works. Elimination, enjoy.